Chairman of the Bono East Regional Peace Council, Reverend Prince Owusu Aseko, has been mourned the rising number of political and chieftaincy conflicts recorded across the region. The chairman was speaking at a stakeholders meeting in Tichuman as part of activities to mark this year's International Day of Peace, said the council is embarking on a rigorous education campaign to help minimize the menace ahead of the 2024 elections. To commemorate the 2023 International Day of Peace, members of the Bono East Regional Peace Council together with key stakeholders met in Techiman to share ideas on promoting dialogue, understanding and cooperation amongst people as well as ways to reduce violence across the area. Chairman of the Regional Peace Council, Reverend Prince Ousu Asiku, bemoaned the rising number of conflicts within the Bono East region. Our part. All the conflicts that were in court, like I said earlier, the two conflicts, majority were from this part. So after carving, and now others are even adding to the previous ones. Those so traditional areas are trying to solve these, but still, there are, there are others showing up. He was, however, quick to note that chieftaincy and political conflicts stand tall in the region and steps need to be taken to help address this. In the Bono East region, two stands to chieftaincy and politics. Most of our conflicts in the region is chieftaincy and political. So we are praying that we will be aided financial so that we can go about drumming home the need and the sense of peace. Margaret Mary is a member of the Regional Peace Council representing the academia. She wants more attention to be given to women in peace building as they play a significant role in maintaining peace. As women now say that we are custodians of peace. When there is peace, we have all the freedom to take care of our homes our children and our husbands. So our role in our maintaining peace is to make sure that we educate our children. The children at home, they get closer to the women than their husbands or their fathers. So we as women should make sure we sit down with our children, provide their needs and educate them as to what to do so they don't get out and be influenced by their peers. Our husbands also go out to work and then come back. As a woman, when your husband comes back, you have to make sure that you do your work. Even if he came back with tension, the way you receive him at home, that will make sure that he has that peace and he can go back to do his work well. Representative of the Alusuna sector on the Regional Peace Council, Sheikh Murtada Mohammed, on his part, attributed ignorance and unemployment as the major cause of conflict amongst the youth and charged policymakers to work towards addressing this to help promote peace within the area. In our communities, uh, some of the issues that um, uh, uh, may be recipes for chaos and violence are ignorance and then unemployment. Yes. So for the youth, uh, because of ignorance, uh, normally whatever they are told, they believe in whatever they are told, instead of going further to research into it or to find other sources of getting information other than what they have got. So I think it is important the government and then stakeholders in our society try as much as possible not to use the youth into their advantages, but they should try as much as possible to use the youth in a way that to bring socio-economic development to their community. Reverend Ousu Asiku further noted that the council is embarking on a rigorous education campaign to help prevent the repeat of the 2020 shooting incident in the Techman South constituency that claimed two lives and left many others injured. We need to go down, educate on air, in the nooks and cronies, for people to understand the need. Election. It's about, we're about to have the ninth election. It's about decision making. And it's also a process, not an event. So we need to exercise all the patience. Anna Sabit, Joy News, Teachman.